There are two parts in this section. You will hear each part twice. After each part, you will have a 15 second pause to do. Part 1. Questions from 1 to 5. Listen to Susie, talking to her friend Matt, about going to the cinema. Choose the correct answer, for each of the following questions. Hi Matt. Would you like to come to the cinema with me and Jane on Saturday? We asked Sam and Pete too, but they're both busy. What are you going to see, Susie? Field of Green. It's got Johnny DeLacy in it. Oh yes, I know. He was in Sunny Day and Heart of Gold. Is it on at the cinema in the shopping centre? That one's closed. We're going to the one opposite the park. It's not on at the one by the market. And how are you getting there? My mum can't drive us, so we're going to walk from my house. We can get the bus back afterwards. OK. What time shall I be at your house, then? Well, the film starts at 4.15... So, come at a quarter to four. It takes about 20 minutes to get there. Fine. And how much money should I bring? Tickets are £5.50, aren't they? These are more. They're £6.20 for this film. I'm taking £8 so I can get a drink as well. Good idea. See you later. Now, listen to part one again. Hi, Matt. Would you like to come to the cinema with me and Jane on Saturday? We asked Sam and Pete too, but they're both busy. What are you going to see, Susie? Field of Green. It's got Johnny DeLacy in it. Oh yes, I know. He was in Sunny Day and Heart of Gold. Is it on at the cinema in the shopping centre? That one's closed. We're going to the one opposite the park. It's not on at the one by the market. And how are you getting there? My mum can't drive us, so we're going to walk from my house. We can get the bus back afterwards. OK. What time shall I be at your house, then? Well, the film starts at 4.15, so come at a quarter to four. It takes about 20 minutes to get there. Fine. And how much money should I bring? Tickets are £5.50, aren't they? These are more. They're £6.20 for this film. I'm taking £8 so I can get a drink as well. Good idea. See you later. That is the end of part one. Part two. Questions from six to fifteen. You will hear a man phoning a woman who lives in an English city called Banford, to get some advice about moving to that city. Complete the notes below. Write one word or a number for each answer. Hello, Linda speaking. Oh, hi Linda. This is Matt Brooks. Alex White gave me your number. He said you'd be able to give me some advice about moving to Banford. Yes. Alex did mention you. How can I help? Well, first of all, which area to live in? Well, I live in Dalton, which is a really nice suburb. Not too expensive, and there's a nice park. Sounds good. Do you know how much it would be to rent a two-bedroom flat there? Yeah, you should be able to get something reasonable for £850 per month. That's what people typically pay. You certainly wouldn't want to pay more than £900. That doesn't include bills or anything. No, that sounds all right. I'll definitely have a look there. Are the transport links easy from where you live? Well, I'm very lucky. I work in the city centre, so I don't have to use public transport. I go by bike. Oh, I wish I could do that. Is it safe to cycle around the city? Yes, it's fine. And it keeps me fit. Anyway, 
Driving to work in the city centre would be a nightmare because there's hardly any parking, and the traffic during the rush hour can be bad. I'd be working from home, but I'd have to go to London one or two days a week. Oh, that's perfect. Getting to London is no problem. There's a fast train every thirty minutes. Which only takes forty-five minutes. That's good. Yeah, the train service isn't bad during the week, and they run quite late at night. It's weekends that are a problem. They're always doing engineering work, and you have to take a bus to Haddam and pick up the train there, which is really slow. But. Other than that, Banford's a great place to live. I've never been happier. There are some nice restaurants in the city centre, and a brand new cinema, which has only been open a couple of months. There's a good art centre too. Sounds like Banford's got it all. Yes, we're really lucky. There are lots of really good aspects to living here. The schools are good, and the hospital here is one of the best in the country. Everyone I know who's been there's had a positive experience. Oh, I can give you the name of my dentist too in Bridge Street if you're interested. I've been going to him for years, and I've never had any problems. Oh. Okay, thanks. I'll find his number and send it to you. Thanks. That would be really helpful. Are you planning to visit Banford soon? Yes, my wife and I are both coming next week. We want to make some appointments with estate agents. I could meet you if you like and show you around. Are you sure? We'd really appreciate that. Either Tuesday or Thursday is good for me. After five thirty. Thursday is preferable. Tuesday, I need to get home before six p.m. Okay, great. Let me know which train you're catching, and I'll meet you in the cafe outside. You can't miss it. It's opposite the station. And next to the museum. Brilliant. I'll text you next week then. Thanks so much for all the advice. No problem. I'll see you next week. Now listen to part two again. Hello, Linda speaking. Oh, hi, Linda. This is Matt Brooks. Alex White gave me your number. He said you'd be able to give me some advice about moving to Banford. Yes, Alex did mention you. How can I help? Well, first of all, which area to live in? Well, I live in Dalton, which is a really nice suburb, not too expensive, and there's a nice park. Sounds good. Do you know how much it would be to rent a two-bedroom flat there? Yeah, you should be able to get something reasonable for eight hundred and fifty pounds per month. That's what people typically pay. You certainly wouldn't want to pay more than nine hundred pounds. That doesn't include bills or anything. No, that sounds all right. I'll definitely have a look there. Are the transport links easy from where you live? Well, I'm very lucky. I work in the city centre, so I don't have to use public transport. I go by bike. Oh, I wish I could do that. Is it safe to cycle around the city? Yes, it's fine, and it keeps me fit. Anyway. Driving to work in the city centre would be a nightmare because there's hardly any parking, 
And the traffic during the rush hour can be bad. I'd be working from home, but I'd have to go to London one or two days a week. Oh, that's perfect. Getting to London is no problem. There's a fast train every 30 minutes, which only takes 45 minutes. That's good. Yeah, the train service isn't bad during the week, and they run quite late at night. It's weekends that are a problem. They're always doing engineering work, and you have to take a bus to Haddam and pick up the train there, which is really slow. But other than that, Banford's a great place to live. I've never been happier. There are some nice restaurants in the city centre and a brand new cinema, which has only been open a couple of months. There's a good art centre too. Sounds like Banford's got it all. Yes, we're really lucky. There are lots of really good aspects to living here. The schools are good and the hospital here is one of the best in the country. Everyone I know who's been there's had a positive experience. Oh, I can give you the name of my dentist too in Bridge Street, if you're interested. I've been going to him for years and I've never had any problems. Oh, OK, thanks. I'll find his number and send it to you. Thanks. That would be really helpful. Are you planning to visit Banford soon? Yes. My wife and I are both coming next week. We want to make some appointments with estate agents. I could meet you if you like and show you around. Are you sure? We'd really appreciate that. Either Tuesday or Thursday is good for me. After 5.30. Thursday's preferable. Tuesday, I need to get home before 6 p.m. OK. Great. Let me know which train you're catching and I'll meet you in the cafe outside. You can't miss it. It's opposite the station and next to the museum. Brilliant. I'll text you next week then. Thanks so much for all the advice. No problem. I'll see you next week. That is the end of the listening section. Stop work on this section and do the other parts of the test.